Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Masters with me. So as of today, it's the 30th of September 2019, and Hilda has finally dropped into the Scouts alongside with her event. So let's take a look at the Scout first. <clears throat> Alright, and see whether Hilda and her Tepic is actually useful. So looking at the stats, Tepic, as of course, if you guys are familiar with the standard Pokemon games, Tepic is a physical attacker, so she, uh, she uses, well, Tepic is a female, so uh, she uses the normal attack stats. And of course, we all know how paper thin Tepic is. So as you can see, the defense stats of Tepic is ridiculously low. So with that said, we all know Tepic is an uh, attacker, hopefully to be a one-hit KO kind of Pokemon. Also, well, she dies by one-hit ko as well. So let's take a look at the four attack moves, or rather the two attack moves and the two trainer support skills that comes with uh, Hilda and Tepic. So Flame Charge. So Flame Charge uses the physical attack. Yeah, there we go. We have Hilda's <laughs> uh, character design. So yeah, Tepic uses the physical attack stat. And of course, the attack gives a chance of raising the user's speed um, like they would in the standard video games. Flame Blitz, however, 3 energy cost uses the physical attack stat. Unfreezes the user. That is pretty useful. The user also takes 25% of the damage it dealt to the target. Oh no, that is not a good thing. So, if Turpic uses Flare Blitz and it still hits itself, it probably will not survive a sync move attack from the opponent. So, I don't know, Flare Blitz is looking like a skill that I will probably never use unless it's one of the last hits that I'm going to be dishing out against the opponent. So, I mean, Tepic is probably still okay with just the flame charge attack alone uh, and has a very small chance of leaving the target burn. So, there is a chance of burning your opponent but you know, with that low chance, I think it's kind of pointless in the end. So, let's take a look, take a look at these uh, trainer skill support. So we have potion, so I guess you know if you want to heal your teammates or heal yourself from doing damage to yourself due to flare blitz, then of course you have try and stop us, which is the most important support skill from Hilda. If the user's speed has been raised, which is what flame charge does, raise the user's attack and by double the amount its speed has been raised. So Flame Charge and Try and Stop Us is the key set moves that you have on Tepic. And of course, let's take a look at the Sync Impact. So, 240 damage with no additional effect. So that's kind of a bummer. So, if I were to obtain Hilda, Flame Charge and Try and Stop Us is probably the only two skills that I will use. So let's take a look at the Passive skill. Anti-Toxin. Prevents the Pokemon from getting poison or badly poison. I I guess that's okay, but with Tepic's defense, I wouldn't really call it consider it a very useful skill. <laughs> so yeah, first aid four restores a bit of the Pokemon's HP once during battle when the Pokemon is in a pinch. So okay, I mean if you are able to. You know, charge up the speed to a high amount, then you try and stop us, flare blitz the opponent and survive your own hit. Then have the first aid for skill activated later. Her pick might still have a chance for another round of effective knocking out, but that is if you survive your opponent's moves before your second round of. Um, you know, attacks being implemented. So overall, I still think Hilda and Tepic is definitely not a trainer set that you might want to um, use 
when it comes to high level competitive battling uh, especially when you have events that has like very hard and hard opponents where they probably can knock you out in one go so if you take a look at Hilda's scout listing Lyra is inside there, Chris the, is also there so we have Brandon, Hilbert, Hilbert was the last focus scout which is still there if you guys are interested in pulling him out but so far he hasn't been um, I would say a very useful trainer as well and of course we have blue scout missing already so yeah but you still are able to get them out from their scouts as you can see blue is here Phoebe is here Olivia is here Karen is here yeah so all all the five star trainers are still within the latest scout so if you guys are still planning to obtain them definitely always go for the latest one uh, but sadly to say you wouldn't have the uh, high chance of pulling them out because well the main focus scout will have the highest percentage chance of appearing so i am not going to do a 10 pool for hilda because personally i don't think she's a very useful trainer i'm gonna save my gems for a future scout that probably has a trainer that i I really love or maybe if even if they are set or you know like the trainer and the Pokemon itself is very useful for future gameplay so let's do this I am going to do a single scout for Hilda uh, hopefully we do get something nice if not a uh, repeat trainer to power up their sync moves is also pretty okay there we go so we just have to look out for the door of the Pokemon Center to see whether it shines brightly to see whether we will get a... Uh, oh, it's a uh, common. <laughs> okay, so Sync Move level max. So we do get a 3 star power up. You know, because we've already maxed out his Sync Move. So yeah, so I could use that. Let's see. Um, unlock level cap I think no where is it is it this one oh dang I totally forgot how to use that item is it moves and skills no 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 so where is it is oh increased potential <laughs> ah here it is so used to increase the sync pair's number of stars so we can rare up berry if you want to that's pretty nice so having duplicate scouts uh, ends up good in the long run so don't forget if you guys have this it does have an expiration so i will probably recommend using it on a five star trainer or a trainer you will make five stars um, by using the other item you know like what we just did with uh, we, what we could have done with Barry, we could improve him to a 5 star then later on use that um, you know this power up for 5 stars on him or whoever that you upgraded them to 5 stars you know because you prefer to have that trainer I would definitely wish to have Lisa uh, up upgraded to a 5 star because she is definitely a very useful trainer to have around as a support so yeah, if you guys don't have uh, you know other scout trainers that is from the scout store, well, the other support useful trainer is Lyra with Wachikorita. So if you guys don't have her, Lisa is the way to go. So yeah. Anyway guys, that's it for this particular scout video. Okay, we do have Bryson here with the magnifying glass icon, so he's gonna give us an item. Now I noticed this. <laughs> The, a trainer will give you an item for free once per day every time the server refreshes so for me in Singapore the server refreshes at 2 p.m. every day so that's when you will pick up um, items for free from trainers in your Pokemon Center lobby so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys uh, have luck with a single pool if you're like me conservative like a uh, F2P player should be 
you know, and of course, if you appreciate all the info I've shared regarding Hilda's um, trainer stats and her topic, let me know by hitting the like button or commenting your thoughts about Hilda in the comments down below. Not forgetting sharing this video to all your Pokemon Master friends out there who are still playing the game. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys in the upcoming Pokemon Masters video where we will take a look at Hilda's um, event. You know, so because she's replacing the one that Blue has. So I guess it's time to fight Hilda. <laughs> Bye!